Kicking off this week is some good news for Team Red, AMD that is. John Petty Research, a market analyst firm, reports that AMD's RX GPUs gained a bit of ground in terms of market share when compared to Nvidia's offerings in the third quarter of 2020. Overall, the report notes that in general, GPU shipments increased by around 10% from Q2 of 2020 when averaged across producers. To get more specific, AMD saw an 18.7% increase, the highest when compared to Nvidia and Intel, who saw a 10.8% and 7.8% increase respectively. AMD's marginally higher increase led to them gaining a 1.3% increase in market share, with Intel and Nvidia's shares declining slightly. We've seen AMD in the past few years really start to dominate the enthusiast desktop CPU space and gain a significant market share over Intel, who, to be honest, has remained fairly stagnant since the advent of Ryzen. The next CPU market space for AMD to crack is the high-end desktop and server space, but Threadripper and Epic are making inroads there also. This just leaves the GPU space, which since focusing on Ryzen, AMD has really let slip and become uncompetitive in. But perhaps the gain in market share here could be a sign that the winds are changing. Speaking of AMD growing, BDO Financial Partners is reporting that according to information provided to them by AMD, as well as based on filings to the US Security and Exchange Commissions, AMD's internal revenue numbers have them growing by 232% between 2019 and 2025. Holy shit. <laughs> Digging into the actual report, AMD has actually tweaked their growth numbers from earlier this year to be higher. For example, Earlier this year on Analyst Day back in January, AMD was projected that they would have around $8.5 billion in revenue for 2020. But in the latest report by AMD to the SEC and DBO Financial, AMD is reporting a projected revenue of around $9.3 billion US dollars for 2020, a number that is a bit up from the initial projection from the start of the year. And AMD goes on to list higher projected numbers for the next few years until 2025 than they did on Analyst Day as well. This certainly indicates that 2020 has been quite generous to AMD as well as other tech companies. Even though many other markets, particularly service and travel, are way down, I mean, if you launch as a 30 series and the latest GPUs from AMD aren't indicative of that, I don't know what is. People clearly demand better PC hardware now that they're using their devices a lot more during the pandemic. But we can't really go into further detail than this without getting on YouTube's shit list. So we're gonna move on. And uh, let's see what's next. Um, Oh, gets another AMD story. <laughs> okay, we'll keep rolling it then. <laughs> According to a leak by videocards.com, AMD looks like it's going to just be edging out Intel's Rocket Lake CPUs coming out in January. Leaked benchmarks from the alleged upcoming HP Omen system shows the Rocket Lake i7 CPU within a margin of error, single core performance when compared to the Ryzen 9 5900X, and 1% slower than the Ryzen 7 5800X. The story only gets worse for Intel when examining the multi-core score, where the Rocket Lake i7 is 6% slower than the 5800X and 42% slower than the 5900X. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Furthermore, in single core performance, the Rocket Lake CPU shows a 14% increase over Intel's enthusiast flagship 10900K, but it's 13% slower in multi-core tests. This puts the Rocket Lake CPU in a fairly weird spot. Our quick analyst and opinion says that with Rocket Lake, Intel will still be able to hold on to the fastest in gaming moniker, as a single core performance has improved and is in with striking distance of even AMD's best. That combined with architecture optimization Intel has been good at, and I don't think that's too spicy of a take. However, if you want or need to do anything else with your PC besides gaming, then Ryzen is the way to go. But this is of course a leak, so take it with a grain of salt, and we'll have to wait until January when Rocket Lake is expected out to see how the leaks hold up. And with that, that's going to do it for this week's tech related salt. Make sure to like the video, subscribe for more tech content, and hit that notification bell. Follow us on Twitter at tech underscore four underscore thought, and if video games are more of your thing, check out our affiliate, cultureofgaming.com for all the latest gaming news, reviews, and opinion pieces. See you next time. Thank you.